Good morning, everyone. It is a very warm December morning here in central Georgia, and uh, I'm planning on spending the entire day out looking for snakes in an area that I have never been. There's a lot of potential, and I mean a lot of potential in this area, but like I said, never been here, so I don't really know what to expect. It's currently misting on me, and it's supposed to be kind of gloomy for the rest of the day. But snakes have been out. There's been a lot posted in the snake ID groups for Georgia, and I have a couple friends that have been seeing stuff, so hopefully we'll be able to get lucky today and turn something up. The biggest thing I would want to see in this area is a diamondback, or the most realistic thing, I guess. Um, I'd much prefer to see other things that I doubt we'll be lucky enough to encounter. But anyways, we're going to be walking around in this upland habitat for most of the day. Checking around stump holes, go for tortoise burrows, the usual. So we'll see if there's anything out. And uh, I will check in with you guys when I find our first turp of the day. Well, holy crap, that was fast. There's a coach whip. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. December coach whip. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm going to get a picture real quick and then we'll grab him. That is so cool. And we've only been out here like 15 minutes. I don't want to jinx it and say this is a good omen, but I mean, we haven't, we've been hiking. This is the first good looking stump hole I've actually found. And it's got a snake. Not only does it have a snake, it has a coach whip. So cool. All right, I'm going to get a better look at this guy. That is awesome. So he's currently playing dead, trying to get me to go away. I promise he is not actually dead. Um, but he does have a pretty gnarly wound and is a little bit on the thin side. Check that out. Looks like, almost looks like he was shot. I have no idea what happened there, but it's pretty gnarly. Look at this snake. Just the amount of variation that you get in coach whips and just the amount of color change that happens in one snake. You've got this beautiful matte black face that just slowly ends up transitioning into this crazy stark white and tan tail. And the highlights on this tail are incredible. What a snake. This thing's also big, probably close to six feet long. Here's a look at this guy all posed up nicely on the log. You can see just how gnarly that wound is, though, from this angle. And it doesn't look like it's infected or anything, but it definitely looks like it caused some spinal damage. And uh, could definitely be impairing the snake's mobility in the long term. But... He's not in terrible shape. He's definitely a little bit thin. These are normally very slender snakes. Even a, a super obese coach whip is thin compared to a full-size rat snake, uh, for example. But yeah, beautiful snake, beautiful habitat. Look at this open field. Lots of young trees and a couple of fallen ones. This is the coach whip's tree where I found him. But just wow, what a great way to start the day. All right, big dude, ready to go back to your stump. Look at that snake. That's so awesome. What a fantastic way to start the day. I have seen coach whips in some pretty cool weather, but it's usually in the spring. I, I think this is the first one I've ever found in December, actually. Which is not too surprising because I don't spend too much time in their habitat this time of year, but just couldn't really ask for a much better way to start the day than that, though. So I'm going to put it back at his stump and we're going to get back to it and see what else we can turn up. First snake of the day, beautiful eastern coach whip. There you go, coming back to life now that you know you're home. Go on. That's so cool. Good to see that snake was actually mostly playing dead because I was genuinely concerned about it for a minute there. I was like, this thing is really messed up. Nope, just playing dead, as they do. So, as common as they may be, I have a genuine love for coach whips that is not matched by many other snakes so that is actually like i cannot think of much better ways to start the day than that maybe a diamondback maybe a pine snake and maybe a hog nose but in this area all of those snakes are pretty common in this area so even coach whips are especially common here but i mean that just wasn't expecting it it's fantastic i'm over the moon right now i could walk around out here for the rest of the day and not see anything and i'd be happy of course, we're going to walk around out here for the rest of the day and hopefully see some more snakes. But look at this cactus. Check that out. It's got some bites out of it, probably from the local gopher tortoises that I haven't seen any evidence of yet. But I know they're around here somewhere. All right, guys, just ran a little site improvement at this 10 spot I just found. 
moved a couple of these pieces out to where they're going to be better for snakes. There were a couple of pieces that were already flat to the ground, like that one I flipped, and that one over there, but no snakes under them. That's a fantastic looking area, though. There is a lot of tin out here. That's going to be a good stack. Look at that. I'm going to put these out somewhere over there. This piece is looking real nice. Look at that. Let's see if there's anyone under it. Lots of ants and yellow jackets. That's lovely. <laughs> huh. That was beautiful. Just a bunch of yellow jackets under there. Here's our next herp of the day. Green and knoll over there. I've seen a couple of those. So this is the first one that's hung around for video. And he's gone. I can't believe I haven't seen something out basking around these foundations though. It's fantastic looking. The amount of tin out here is ridiculous, but as warm as it is, I want to spend the rest of the day hitting habitat because a lot of this tin is still in the buildings. All right guys, well despite how nice this area looks, I've only been able to turn up that one coach whip and uh, I haven't even seen a single tortoise burrow. It's just been a couple of really good looking stumps and, and deadfalls. There's not too much structure out here, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm almost back to the car, so I'm gonna go check out a different area that's nearby that'll hopefully have more tortoises. All right, guys, I think this area we're in now is a little bit better diamondback habitat. There's definitely a few more tortoise burrows. There's one coming up right here. We'll see if there's anybody out though. I guess I'll record me checking this one, just in case, since I'm already rolling. Looks good. I do not see anybody. Alright guys, it's about 2 o'clock, which probably means I've got about an hour or maybe two left of decent light. That's a big grasshopper. And, uh... I've still only seen one snake today, and it was 10 minutes out of the car. Crazy how it happens like that sometimes. But, I mean, I'm still not upset about it. At least it was a good snake, so. I do think I've got another solid hour or so left of good light, so I'm gonna hit this for the next hour or so, and then we'll probably call it a day. I've said it multiple times today, but <laughs> this place is just beautiful to be in, even if I'm not finding much. Look at that. I just flipped a herp under a naturally occurring rock in the coastal plain. Remarkable. Nice looking green and all under this one. There's actually quite a few rocks here that are actually flippable and look really good underneath them. A nice piece of tin I haven't flipped since I set it out. Oh man, that looks amazing. Nothing but ants today though. All right, guys, well, the light is starting to fade. I found probably around 20 tortoise burrows in this little area right here, and uh, not a single snake to be seen. Here's another burrow. Once again, not seeing anybody in this area. But anyways, I'm making my way back to the car now. And if I don't see anything, I'm probably gonna wrap up today's portion of the video here, and I will see you guys tomorrow, because it's gonna be nice and warm again. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I will check in with you guys in the morning if I don't see anything else here. Holy crap, it's warm. 63 degrees first thing this morning. The sun's not even up good yet. Let's see what we can turn up. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Five steps out of the car yet again, and there is our first snake of the day. We can only hope today goes a little bit different from yesterday, though, and that is not the only snake of the day, but... Green snakes in winter. There's a caterpillar crawling on him. Look at maybe, that. Maybe he'll eat it. <laughs> maybe he will eat it. I'm going to get an NC2 shot real quick and I'll get a better look at this guy. Seeing these guys in habitat is always cool, especially in the winter. I was not really expecting this today. Normally we only see them when it's super flooded. But very cool. Hopefully that's a good omen. We're probably not going to mess with this guy too much. And uh, we're going to get back to it. But first snake of the day, a nice rough green snake in C2 right here in this bush. Alright, we're 
we're gonna leave this guy to it. Maybe we'll see him later in the day. Looks like he's getting into a basking position where he's happy. Hopefully he'll chill there. We'll be able to watch him. There's Richard taking photos. He's way out there now. So about five foot off the ground here, we have our next snake of the day. A nice band of water snake. All right, guys, well, we're just gonna leave this guy to continue his basking session as well. Everybody's up in the trees today. Kind of interesting. Normally, that's something you see when it's flooded, but it's been very dry and the snakes are still up in the trees. So maybe the floods are not what pushes them up in the trees. Either way, really cool. We're just gonna leave that guy right there and keep at it. This guy looks like he's having a kind of bad time. Yeah, that is not a healthy turtle. All swollen up. No bueno. Probably has some sort of infection or something going on that's keeping him on the surface this time of year. The one we saw, I guess it was last week. Oh, he's being bothered by that <laughs> harvestman. The one we saw a couple weeks ago in this area was fine. This guy's looking a little bit unhappy. But we're just gonna leave him. Hopefully he will be able to recover on his own accord. But definitely unfortunate. And right there is a timber rattlesnake. Heck yeah. Oh man, I needed a good rattlesnake. <laughs> it's been so long since we've seen one. At least it feels like it's been a long time. I can't even, I couldn't even tell you when the last rattlesnake I saw was. That's so cool. Coming out of his tiny little stump hole right there, I'm assuming. Beautiful. There is an abundance of daddy long legs hounding this man and his surroundings. There's one in this bush tickling my nose everywhere. That is fantastic. We're just going to leave that little guy right there after a couple quick photos. All right, we're wrapping up taking pictures and we're just going to leave this little beauty right here. But fantastic timber rattlesnake is our next snake of the day. There is our next snake of the day. This little area had a rat snake last time we were here, and I'm not sure if that's the same one or not, but very nice. Cool in situ, too. Just chilling right there. That is very cool. But just like the others, we're just going to leave that guy right there. He's chilling in a good spot for photos, so I don't need to mess with him. Beautiful rat snake is our next find. There's our next snake of the day, a big black racer. Very nice. I don't know if I even got a picture of that guy, but I guess he went down a hole over here. Looks like it. Very nice. Next species for the day. Well, there's the rain. It's not ideal, but we're going to live with it. We've seen stuff sitting out in the rain before, so hopefully it'll stay nice and warm. And maybe we'll be able to kick something up either way. So we're going to keep at it. If it starts just pouring, we might end up calling it. But I think this is a little sprinkle that's going to pass over. All right, guys. Richard just spotted our next snake in C2. Look at that. Nice little rat snake in there. That is so cool. And like with the rest of the snakes we've seen today, we're just going to leave that guy right there. You can kind of see his face right there, though. Really cool. Awesome in C2. Nice rat snake. I think that's our eighth snake of the day, right? We saw a racer. Oh no, I got video of the racer. The only thing we've seen that I didn't get video of was a cottonmouth. Look at this well camouflaged man. The rat snake sitting in the shadow. I'll try to get a picture of him real quick and we'll get a better look. And the rat snakes are killing the NC2 game today. Look at that. It's so cool. Just chilling in there. All right, handsome guy. Well, he's just chilling in there. All the snakes have been so cooperative today. They're sitting in super cool spots because it's nice and overcast. So there's no hot sun beating down on them. It's just a great day to be in the woods. Just rolled this log and turned up a nice ring neck. Look at that. First one of those we've seen this winter, I think. Kind of strange. They're usually pretty common during the winter months. The ever-present ring neck has been quite uncommon this winter. Like I said, I think this is the first one we've seen since uh, fall kind of ended and transitioned into colder weather. Which is kind of odd, because normally they're pretty active during the winter undercover. 
All right, buddy. There you go. Back into your detritus. Look at that. Yet another rat snake. Oh, there it is. Double digit snakes. Yet another rat. This is also another big rat snake that's just kind of hanging out in this very precariously fallen dead tree. Look at that. He's just chilling. We're gonna lead him to it. Tenth snake of the day, we are in double digits. Still no king snake, unfortunately, but it's kind of looking like the rain might come in pretty soon, so we're gonna stick at it as long as we can. And hopefully we'll be able to get one, or at least a few more snakes before this rain hits. Look who's still out enjoying this winter rain shower. And now he's coiled up perfectly. Here's our buddy from this morning. All right, beautiful. We'll leave you alone for good this time. It is actually just straight up raining out here and the snake is just chilling. That is so cool. And I'm sure if it gets to be too much and he gets uncomfortable, he'll just slip down this hole you can't really see very well because it's filled with pine straw and come back out on a warmer day. Yo, there we go our first cotton mouth of the day that we can actually get a look at. Just chilling right there. Yeah, the cotton mouths are kind of finicky today. This guy's already moving around a little bit. But you can see him all right. Not the best look, but it'll do. It has been a very productive day. We're probably gonna wrap up here in a minute, but nice to get at least one more snake if we don't see anything else. And another snake. That is our 12th snake of the day. A nice rat snake on the crawl. He is leaving, but there's another look at him. He's got a stub tail. He's rooting around a little bit like he's got a hole over there. Really nice. Rat snakes have been our most common snake today, I believe. Which is pretty par for the course in this area, I guess. He is actually currently crawling back towards me. I don't know if he's got a hole right there. Yeah, I guess he does. Very cool. 